Hello and welcome back to Itrusco Road Trip Italia. We are still in Switzerland and you may remember at the end of the last vlog I said that we were hoping to go over the San Bernardino Pass. Unfortunately there is a sign at the foot of the pass saying that the maximum permitted vehicle width is 2.3 meters and the Etrusco T6900DB is 2.32 meters. Now you may say two centimeters surely you can get away with it. Well if we were to have an accident for example two centimeters can make the difference between being insured and not being insured. I'm just not going to take the risk especially with someone else's motorhome. So we're going to go through the tunnel and I'm sure the scenery will be lovely once we get to the other side. All right so here we go 6.6 .6 kilometers of tunnel. Right, part of the pleasure of motorhome life. Cup of tea time on the road. Yeah. Helps if you actually put the gas on. Duh. That's better. Right, well you tell me, where else in Switzerland, in a lay-by, can you get a decent cup of Fortnum & Mason's Assam tea? Anyway, it's in a travel cup for a good reason. Oh, that's beautiful. In a travel cup for a good reason, because we've got to get cracking and press on. And look. Somewhere to put it while I'm driving. Yay.
Oh, I've just passed it. Oh dear, I missed the entrance. Oh dear, this is going from bad to worse. In 50 metern, biegen Sie links ab. Well, we're getting a nice little tour of this suburb of Milan. Die nächste rechts. Whoa! Excuse you. Whoa. I'll tell you what, I'll just stop. Oh, this is fun! rechts ab. In 140 Metern biegen Sie rechts ab. Die nächste rechts. This is fun! <laughs> well, it's a nice way of looking around the suburbs of Milan, I have to say. And I have to say that the sat-nav in the van is doing an amazing job because even though we're going around houses, it's aware of the width of the vehicle. Earlier on when I tried to go over the San Bernardino Pass, it warned me and told me this was a really bad idea, someone's charging straight at me. Um, so yeah, the sat nav is doing an incredibly good job. Right. Right, okie dokie. Let's just randomly stop here and go check in. Okay, well that was easy enough. Um, I've got my pass. I'd like to leave my passport to make sure we don't run off in the morning. And um, he's going to open the gate for us and we just choose an empty pitch. So. Right, so this is Camping Milano. like a nice little campsite. Right, so we've all set up here at Camping Milan. I've just had a quick walk around. It looks really nice. I'll show you around in the morning. In the meantime, I'm just going to do myself some food. James is on his way. He's already had his food, so he'll soon be here. So I'm just looking forward to James arriving now, and then we can crack on with the rest of the trip. You made it! Oh, good to see you! You're well. Hello, dear. Hello, I've got to get this bit on. Someone's excited to see his Uncle James. <laughs> oh, oh that's so yeah. Difficult. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all making a liar of me now. I always say he never smiles, but yeah, he's smiling. <laughs> oh, good to see you. And you.
Good morning from Camping Milano. So as you can see, James arrived yesterday. When he got here, we went for a drink at the on-site bar, which was really nice. And they served pizza and light meals there as well. I really liked the campsite last night. Great spacious pitches. There's even a little farm on site where kids can go and pet the animals. The facilities are fairly clean and pretty good. It was a nice welcome at reception. And then at 2.24 this morning, a road sweeper was going around the site. Now, if you imagine the noise of a leaf blower, times it by 10, and it was going up and down all these roads. It must have woken up everyone on the campsite. And then the cockerel started with his cock-a-doodle-doos at 5.30. And another thing they have on this campsite, which is really quite curious, is they have these flying tents that you can rent. So if you want to sleep in a suspended tent, this is the place to come. Anyway, we are going to head off today. I think we're going to head for the coast. So we'll wrap this vlog up here. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, a huge thank you to Etrusco UK for sponsoring this vlog without interfering with the content. Please do check out their website and all their social channels in the description below. So it just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me, from Milan, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. You, yeah.